Shorya, missile. The Shorya missile is a canister launched hypersonic surface to surface tactical missile. Developed by the Indian Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, for use by the Indian Armed Forces. It has a range of 700 to 1,900 kilometres, and is capable of carrying a payload of 200 kilograms to 1 tonne conventional or nuclear warhead. It gives the potential to strike at very long range against any adversary. The Shorya missile is speculated to be the land version of the underwater Sagrakake 15 missile. Although DRDO officials have reportedly denied its connection with the K 15 program. Shorya is stored in a composite canister, which makes it much easier to store for long periods without maintenance as well as to handle and transport. It also houses the gas generator to eject the missile from the canister before its solid propellant motors take over to hurl it at the intended target. At Defexpo 2010 the missile was displayed without the container shroud, mounted on a land mobile erector launcher. Shorya missiles can remain hidden or camouflaged in underground silos from enemy surveillance or satellites till they are fired from the special storage cum launch canisters. If put in silos, DRDO scientists state that given Shorya's limited range at present, either the silos will have to be constructed closer to India's borders or an extended range version will have to be developed. Defense scientists say the high speed, Two-stage Shorya is highly maneuverable which also makes it less vulnerable to existing anti-missile defense systems. Shorya can reach a velocity of Mach 7.5 even at low altitudes. On November 12, 2008, the missile reached a velocity of Mach 5 as it crossed a distance of 300 km with a surface temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. The missile performed rolls to spread the heat uniformly on its surface. Flight time is between 500 seconds and 700 seconds. It has been described as a complex system with high-performance navigation and guidance systems, efficient propulsion systems, state-of-the-art control technologies and canisterized launch. It can be easily transported by road and launched by TEL. The missile, encased in a canister, is mounted on a single vehicle, which has only a driver's cabin, and the vehicle itself is the launch platform. This single vehicle solution reduces its signature, it cannot be easily detected by satellites, and makes its deployment easy. The gas generator, located at the bottom of the canister, fires for about a second and a half. It produces high pressure gas, which expands and ejects the missile from the tube. The missile has six motors, the first one is the motor in the gas generator.
The centerpiece of a host of new technologies incorporated in Shorya is its ring laser gyroscope and accelerometer. The ring laser gyroscope was tested and integrated by the research center Imara, RCI, based in Hyderabad. The Shorya missile was revealed to be designed specifically to be fired from submarines. A top DRDO scientist has confirmed this and further said that after taking off and reaching a height of about 50 kilometers, the missile starts flying like a hypersonic cruise missile. Once it reaches the target area it maneuvers towards the target before striking with an accuracy of 20 to 30 m within the target area. The missile was launched from an underground facility with an inbuilt canister from Complex 3 of the integrated test range at Chandipur. The missile was successfully test-fired for the third time, from the integrated test range at Chandipur, Odisha, on Saturday, September 24, 2011, in its final configuration. The missile flew at 7.5 Mach, and covered its full range of 700 km in 500 seconds. After this test, the missile is ready for production and induction into the Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.